Now children, after completing the simple bar diagram or bar chart, we next move to the multiple bar diagrams. As the word denotes multiple, here in the multiple bar diagram, we have multiple bars, right? Now in the simple bar diagram, we had only single bar. Now here we have multiple bars in bar diagram. Now here multiple, in this we have double bar diagram and triple bar diagram. That means two adjacent bars are drawn or three bars are drawn in a set, but it will not be more than three. Otherwise, the data will become or you can say the diagram will become more complicated or complex. So, in the multiple bar diagram, we do not have multiple bars, but only either two or three. Whereas, in simple bar diagram, we have only single bar. Now, this is the example I have taken for double bar chart. In the double bar chart, two variables are given. That means, whenever you have to compare the data of two variables, then this double bar chart is drawn. For example, if you are comparing the data given in a particular year, birth rate and death rate, you have to make the comparison between birth rate and death rate or you can say any other comparison like for example, export or import. So, this type of data whatever in which there are two variables and you have to make the comparison between two variables, then double bar diagrams are more suitable. Now, here we have taken the example of birth rate and death rate. I know uh, you must be familiar with the term birth rate. Birth rate is what? The rate at which the number of children born per thousand per year, right? This is birth rate and death rate is number of people dying per thousand per year that is known as death rate. So, here we have give, got the data of birth rate and death rate and you have to compare that how many are born in a particular year and how many are dying in a particular year. Then this is showing two variables and you can make the comparison by, by drawing two adjacent bars. Now, let us take the example of this with the help of diagram. Here you see the diagram I have given, this is on the basis of the data of birth rate and death rate. Now, here again as in the simple bar diagram I told you, on the O x axis that is horizontal axis, we will take the years and this O y axis, this shows birth rate and death rate, right? Now, here you see that two bars are drawn. That means, each year is, is showing two set of bars, right? Now, one bar shows birth rate in this one set, one is showing birth rate, another is showing the death rate. Similarly, for another, another year, we have different set of two bars. Now, here keep certain things in mind when you are drawing the multiple bar or double bar chart. One thing that two adjacent bars are drawn, in between there is no gap. Two bars will be joined together as shown here. There is no gap between two bars. That means, one set of bars that is joined together but the gap between each set of bars that is same as it was in the case of simple bar diagram, always maintain the same gap, right? So, in this children, you have to draw two adjacent bars and the length of the bar again depends upon the given data here, right? As I have one example, I have take 1951 to 60 the birth rate was 42 and the death rate was 23. So, this was 42 and this was 23. 
right. So, this shows one bar which has dots in it, this shows birth rate and this shows death rate. Again to indicate the symbols of this, you have to make the index here. This index is also known as legend, L-E-G-E-N-D. This is either you name it index or you can name it legend. Now here this box in is indicating that similar to this box, this is birth rate and similar to the other one, this is death rate. So, both the bars has two different symbols and this you have to indicate here in the legend or in the index. So, that the reader or that person who is reading the diagram, he can immediately make out that this particular bar is showing birth rate and the other one is showing the death rate. And again, in 1961 to 70, it is 41 birth rate and 19 this thing, death rate, this is 41 and this is 19, right. So, this way, two bars are joined together to make a set of data and here with the help of this type of distribution, you can easily make out that birth rate is high and out of this, this many, this much is the death rate. So, the comparison you can make and in different years you can say that birth rate has declined here and side by side death rate has also declined. So, with the help of graph or diagram, you can make the analysis that birth rate was high in 1951 as well as death rate was also high, but later on it is declining till 2001 to 11, right. Or in a particular year, if it is increasing, then the bar will also go high. This will show that there was an a increase a particular year, then again there may be a decrease. So, with the help of this distribution of data or with the help of double bar chart, you can make the analysis or you can compare a birth rate and death rate with the help of double bar chart. Is that clear to you? So, this is what I told you about double bar chart, right. Now, after this, as I told you, this is a multiple bar diagram. So, as I told you, this is the double bar chart. Similarly, we have triple bar chart. And remember, I told you that it should not be more than 3 bars. Stick to maximum 3 bars together. And if you have to show another data, then you can make another diagram for that. Now, here triple bar chart. See here, this I have not taken any data, just I want to do the comparison over here of the production of different occupational sectors. What are occupational sectors? This is that on the basis of different type of occupation or activities carried on. We have three main sectors, these are primary sector, secondary sector and tertiary sector. Primary sector includes agriculture and its allied activities or act, uh, related activities. Secondary sector includes all manufacturing industries and the tertiary sector includes transport, communication and all type of services. So, we have three main sectors in the economy in which all the activities are divided. Now, here we are taking the percentage share in gross domestic product in different sectors in India. This is different sectors in India. Now, what is meant by gross domestic product? This is also called, in short we call it GDP. This stands for gross domestic product. Now, what does it mean? G stands for gross, that means total, D for domestic, this means domestic here means within the domestic territory of the country or within the country, not including the production outside the country and production, gross domestic production or product, product means production. So, total production within the domestic territory of the country, that is GDP. So, this data gives you percentage share in gross domestic product in different sectors. 
in India. That means how much is the contribution of each sector, primary, secondary and tertiary in the GDP of India. This is percentage share we are taking. So, here we have not taken any particular data though it can be on the basis of data also or it should be on the basis of data then only you can find out the length. Now, I have given you the example how three bars are drawn. Data can be in this form only, three different sectors data may be given and on the basis of that you will draw three adjacent bars that again as it was in double bar chart, two bars were joined together. Same way here in triple bar chart, three bars are joined together to make a set of bars, right. So, here three bars are one is indicating for primary. Now, again the same symbols you have to show here. So, that at a glance a person can make out that which bar is indicating what, right. So, first is primary, then secondary, then tertiary. So, three sectors contribution is given in different years and again you have to keep in mind the width of all the bars is the same, only the length varies according to the given data or the set of bars will have same gap, right. Maintain the features what I told you earlier, same thing you have to follow here. And remember one thing, the bars when you are making double bar or triple bar, always children remember one thing that whatever symbol you are using for particular variable in the another set also, same symbol should be used. And besides this, if you are taking primary first, then secondary, then tertiary, in the second set also follow the same pattern, right. And for primary, if you are using one particular symbol, in all the sets for primary you will use the same symbol. For secondary there should be only one symbol and for tertiary or the third bar there should be or third variable there should be only one type of symbol or sign. It may be colors also, if you are using colors you can use three different colors, but maintain this thing that for primary you, you will always use only one shade of color to show one variable, right. So, this is the triple bar chart, right. So, this way I told you what is simple bar or double bar and the triple bar. So, this type of distribution you can show with the help of any kind of bar out of these three depending upon the type of data given to you. If only one variable is given, you will draw simple bar. If two variables are there, draw the double bar chart and if three variables are there, draw the triple bar chart, right. Is not it interesting children? Okay. Now, we will come to another type of diagram. This we call subdivided bar diagram or subdivided chart. Now, take the example here. Here you will see I have given one example to show the subdivided bar diagram. Now, the example says the table given table shows production of rice, wheat and sugar cane in India during 2008 to 2011. Now, draw subdivided 